A local artist is using sand mandala beach drawings to help heal and inspire the community. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie shows us how the woman's artwork is bringing people together in this season of hope. All right, so here we go. With just a little bit of planning. The only thing that's predictable is the circle in the middle. Sharon Belknap begins. And then the rest of it is just organic shapes. Watching her work is like seeing a dance unfold. How they connect and interrelate to one another. The sounds of the ocean, the beauty of the water, a playfulness rises up in me. Sharon, a graphic designer and illustrator, has done just a couple dozen of these sand mandalas. And once I did it, and the expansiveness, the impermanence, the freedom, uh, the tactile quality. Sometimes solo, sometimes with friends. She brings extra rakes because people passing by often get inspired. And she welcomes the collaboration. <laughs> Dancing as she works, her whole body exudes joy. It's restorative. It rekindles. There's a remembrance of playfulness that's innate. Expressed on a canvas that will be washed away by the waves. That impermanence, freeing, she says, and healing. My son, Chris Thompson, on 4th of July, I like to say he ascended. The 28-year-old Valley Center firefighter died in an early morning crash this 4th of July. The next morning, inexplicably, Sharon says she woke up feeling joy. Joy that I had this amazing soul, this amazing human being. She came to her spot in Cardiff. And the words just poured into me, only love. And we have so many choices. And in that moment, I chose only love. And that doesn't mean I haven't fel felt all the spectrum. The first person who walked over the bridge that morning took this picture of her standing illuminated in the early sunlight. I was not prepared for this. Who's prepared for this to lose a child? But he's not lost. <laughs> He is still so here. He's in every drawing. The eyes, she adds, are Chris's. Being out here, creating these, I often ask Christopher, what do you see, honey? And he says, Mom, I see you. <laughs> when this design is done, Sharon and her friends share a COVID-conscious butt hug, as she calls it, taking a moment to share it with Christopher and share its message with everyone who stops to take it in. You are loved. In Cardiff, Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.